46 states reporting widespread activity as a deadly new virus sweeps through the city. The World Health Organization declaring a global health emergency. Once a pandemic emerges, it's really too late. All you can do is put out the fire. We're trying to get ahead of the curve and stop them before they emerge. EcoHealth Alliance is working on the ground to stand between you and the next pandemic. From our offices here in New York, we send our staff all over the world. We form alliances with local partners in every country we work in. Otherwise, we can't achieve the results we get. EcoHealth Alliance created the first hotspots map for emerging diseases, identifying the exact places on the planet where the next pandemic is most likely to emerge. So we take our science and we apply it on the ground and we show that you can predict when the next outbreak is coming and actually prevent it. It saves lives, it saves money, and people are really grateful for that. In West Africa, for example, we're working in the countries where Ebola emerged to say where did Ebola come from? Which species of wildlife is it in? Is it still there? And what are people doing that puts them at risk? We've been working in South Africa for about five years now on Rift Valley Fever. Rift Valley Fever is a bit like West Nile virus. It's transmitted by mosquitoes from people to livestock and back again. This is a great example of where we can have a real impact. Here we have a free-tailed bat. One of the bats that roosts in this cave is the same species where we found a MERS-related coronavirus. We're working on countries where we think the next pandemic could begin. Places like Pakistan, Turkey, Jordan, Georgia. In West Asia, we've set up a whole new network of scientists who focus on bats, bat biology, and the viruses that bats carry. One of the things we know is that deforestation is a huge driver of emerging diseases. In Southeast Asia, we see some of the biggest deforestation rates. Wildlife are disappearing and their viruses are emerging. So we're out there trying to stop that process. We've been working in China for over 10 years now. We've discovered the origin of SARS virus, the virus that spread around the world in 2003. We found that other viruses exist in bats that are almost identical to SARS. And in fact, we've now, this year, have evidence that those viruses are appearing in the human population. This is a pandemic that's just beginning. This is the see, amplification yeah. Yeah, of the genome, genome of the virus. Yeah. So we calculated on the planet there are something like 1.7 million unknown viruses and about half of those can get into people. We call the next pandemic virus disease X, the unknown disease. That's what we're really trying to get a handle on. What is that likely to be? Where is it right now? So we're right there at the front line so we can stop it. Our vision is a world without pandemics, without Ebola, without Zika, without influenza virus where people have a better relationship with the environment we live in and where we don't have millions of people dying every year from these horrific diseases. But it also stops that virus emerging and spreading into the US and around the world. With your support, we can set our sights on the next pandemic. We can stop it emerging, we can save lives, we can save the environment at the same time.